When you're ready to create a new class notebook for the new school year, the first thing you're going to do is log in to Office 365. You can easily get to Office 365 by, by going to www.office.com and logging in with your Office 365 credentials. Once you've logged in and you land on a page that looks similar to this, you are going to look for the Class Notebook application. If you don't see it in your list of apps on the front page, you can click Explore All Your Apps and all of the applications available to you will show up and you'll be able to find Class Notebook. So you'll click on Class Notebook, which will bring you to the Class Notebook application and management tool. And you see you have four options over here. We're going to create a new Class Notebook. And you're going to go through the next six steps to set up your notebook. So you're going to name your notebook. And I would be as specific as possible because the students do use this a lot year to year and with other teachers. Um, you don't want to just call it period two. Be a little bit more specific. So let's say, for example, we call this science grade six period two. And then we click next. This is just a preview of what's going to be included in your class notebook, the collaboration space, the content library, the student notebook. The collaboration space can be turned off if you don't want to give your students access to it right away at the beginning of the school year, which I'll show you how to do in another video. So then we're going to click next. If you have another teacher that you want to give access to this notebook, if you have an inclusion teacher um, or an administrator, you can put their name in here and you can just type in their last name and it will start to populate with anybody it finds in our Office 365 database. If you don't, you can click on Next and here's the step where you're going to be adding your students. Any of the students who are in our district and have Office 365 accounts can be located um, by typing in their last name. Once you find the name, you will click on it and it will be entered. And then you can continue this process with the rest of your students. My suggestion is if you are going to maintain one class notebook, let's say, and have all of your students in it, which could possibly be anywhere from 80 to 100 students, you might want to just do maybe 20 students at a time just so that this doesn't time out on you and you have to redo it again. Um, you don't have to finish all of this in one shot. So I'm going to click Next now that my students are in. And then you can see here, these are the default sections um, that the students would have in their notebook unless you make changes to it. So I do not think I need handouts. I don't need homework or quizzes. Depending on how you want your student notebooks organized, um, you can make your own just by clicking Add Section and then typing in the name of the section that you want to include. So let's say, for example, I want my student notebooks to be divided by the units we're going to cover throughout the course of the year. I might do it this way. And you don't have to know all of the sections you want the students to have right at the beginning of the school year. You can always distribute new sections to the students as you're going along throughout the course of the year. Once you're happy with the sections that you have, you're going to click Next. And this is going to give you a preview of what your notebooks are going to look like. Right now, we are looking at the teacher view of the notebook. So you can see as a teacher, I will see the collaboration space, the content library, and then I will see a list of all of my students who are in this notebook. If I click over here where it says student notebook, I will see collaboration space, content library. I will just see one student. This is what the student was going to see. The student is going to see the class notes section, unit one, unit two, etc. If you are happy with all of that, you can then come down here and we can go down and we can click Create. If this is not correct and you need to go back, use the arrow button that is here within Class Notebook. Don't use Back on your browser. If you do that, you are likely going to have to create your notebook all over again. So we're going to click Create and now the notebook is being set up. Once the notebook is set up, it's going to ask you how do you want to open this. Do you want to open this in the online version of the notebook or do you want to download this into the desktop version? Um, traditionally, our students have used the desktop version, as have you. So you can see we have two options over here, open in OneNote, open in OneNote online. So if I want to download this right away so that I can start working on it, I'm just going to click open in OneNote.
we're going to click open OneNote 2016 and the notebook now should launch and everything should sync down. So that's basically how you are going to create your notebook. In some of the other following videos, I'll show you how to add more students, I'll show you how to lock down the collaboration space, and also how to manage your content library.